Hello, and welcome to a beautiful morning here in sunny Nova Scotia and slightly frosty Nova Scotia. And welcome to my channel, The Optimistic Gardener. My name is Steve Farley. Well, I'm feeling a bit sad this morning. I've just been um, filming the video of uh, potting up my, or, or putting to bed my, my canna lilies for the winter. And you know, it marks really the final sort of death throes of the beautiful summer we've had and all the lovely flowers that I've, I've, I've managed to grow. And England have also just lost in the World Cup rugby final. Um, so I'm extremely sad, but being an optimistic gardener, you've always got to be looking ahead. And spring is only six months away, yay! So, this time of year, autumn, October, November, maybe December if you're in a slightly warmer area, it's a good time to be planting up your, your bulbs, your spring flowering bulbs, ready for next year's first beautiful bursting colour display that marks the end of a horrible long winter and the start of hopefully another beautiful summer and beautiful flowers. So I plant um, bulbs in the ground all around uh, the garden but there's always that, that problem um, with squirrels digging them up and um, here in Nova Scotia because it gets um, often gets cold then warm then cold and rain then snow then freezing um, we also, also get that problem of uh, um, the bulbs rotting and, and, and not being perfect conditions and it's also really really rocky um, in my garden so digging them down deep enough is, is often a problem so that's where pots come in pots potting up your, your bulbs whether you be your spring flowering bulbs or your summer flowering bulbs is you know is a great way to introduce instant colour to a, a particular area and put that instant colour into an area where you, you can see it all the time like like outside the back door of my kitchen where the deck is and I can just peep out and have a look at all the beautiful colours. So today I thought I'd put up some spring bulbs and I'm not going to just do one I'm going to do a bit of a multi-layer um, pot so that I, I, I've got different flowers growing in there in the springtime and probably an elongated flowering period so I've got some daffodils um, some mascari and some iris which are lovely so and they can go they all go at different layers so that's what I thought I'd do today so first things first you want a nice decent pot so all my obviously all my um, summer flowering bowls are over now so I've, I can use the pots that I've, I've been using for them so first things first, what we want to do is put a nice couple of crocs to, to uh, cover up the holes at the bottom there so that they don't get blocked up. Nice bit of drainage. And then we want some compost. So I've got a nice gritty mix here. Added a, some extra grit in there. You can uh, um, add some perlite or the different um, perlite things. I can't remember the other name of the other one. But I like to add a bit of grit. So I'm Going to add a few inches of uh, the compost in there and then I'm going to be putting the daffodils in first. This is called um, John Kill Mix, which I think you can see up on the screen. It's a, it's a nice little daffodil there. And these are going to go down at the lowest point of the, um, of the pot. And obviously most of your, all your bulbs, you want to be normally about three times the depth at least of um, of the soil is where your your bulb's going to be, and also with a pot. The good thing about a pot is you can plant up your your bulbs a lot closer together for you know because it's only going to be in there temporarily, so we can get them nice and close together. I'll put these in and then I'll show you, so we can get an extra large amount of flowers just when we need it when that long winter is starting to, to get to us a bit. One, two. In fact, I'm putting them all in there, all ten. Let's get a couple in the middle. There we go. I've just jogged them over, but um, I've got ten in there. Let's put them back. I need to get another camera to get close-ups. 
Right, so I've got those in there. Well, as I said, 10 is at the bottom, quite tightly packed, but they're only going to be in there for a little while during the spring. So let's put another layer of compost in there. So these muscari, these will go in next. Where are they? There they are. And these are going to be about four inches down. So I'm really going to pack these in. Get a real good display from them. I love that blue, that blue colour. And hopefully they'll be out around the same time as the iris and, and the iris have got some, some yellows and whites and they'll really play off each other. And if I'm really lucky, they'll be out around the same time as the dafts as well and we can get a real multicoloured display. And they can provide that lower down cover and flowering. Right, so that's the muscari in. And then another layer of compost. And then this gets... So the iris next, these are gonna to grow to 20 inches, but they don't wanna to be too deep. About three inches for these. The packet normally tells you anyway, doesn't it? I think I've been stitched up. The pack says 21 bulbs, there's only about 10. Bandits. Anyway, so they're the last layer. Get this last layer in. And there we go. So all your spring flowering bulbs benefit from a period of what's called vernalisation, where the temperature gets down cold, you know, around the freezing mark, um, and then that helps them to trigger their growth once, once it starts to warm up again. But here in Nova Scotia, like I said, the temperature fluctuates up above freezing, and then, and then it goes down below freezing, then it comes up, then it snows, then it rains, and all the water freezes and, and, and unfreezes in the pots, you know, and with pots like this, clay pots, um, etc., they've got a tendency to crack with all the, the freezing and unfreezing. So what I normally do is put mine in the shed where it stays dry. I make sure that they, the, um, the pots stay um, damp if, if they look like they're drying out, but, you know, they're, they're, they're mostly frozen for a, a, a good month or so during the winter um, but if you if you live in a an area or you've got great big pots if you've got great big pots that tendency doesn't um, occur as much um, because of all the all the volume of the, the compost that's in there but I'm, I've been putting mine in the shed for a couple of months it will stay cold uh, but it won't be constantly getting wet freezing unfreezing etc so that's what I'll be doing and then hopefully come come May time Maybe, maybe even April, depending on, on, on what the winter's like. I'll, I'll, I'll bring them out just to, in, in March, actually. I'll be bringing the pots out in March, and then hopefully in, in April and May, I'll be benefiting from some beautiful spring flowering bulbs in my, outside my kitchen door, just where I need to see them. Jobs are good. Enough.